Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. Uh, today, we're going to bust open, you know, I had said I wasn't going to open this thing up because uh, it was sealed, but, you know, I've opened up pretty much all my other uh, engines and, I, you know, I love looking inside of myself, so uh, I opened it up and we're going to take a look today at the X-Act 21 Sportive Nitro Engine. Uh, before we get into that, uh, if you're into nitro engines, nitro vehicles, anything at all to do with the nitro side of the RC hobby, I would love a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Do you or do you not love the purple bubble mailer that this thing comes in? This is the packaging, the, the factory packaging for this engine is in this purple bubble mailer. And, you know, uh, as much as I love the SH's, uh, like, little Tupperware plastic box that it comes with, and I would prefer that, uh, I love this. I just, because it, it's different, uh, super cool. I love this X-Act uh, purple bubble mailer packaging. All right. So, uh, this is the X-Act 21 Sportive, not the X-Act... Uh, Pro 8 Italia. Uh, that one uh, was the first uh, X-Act engine before this one came out. And that one was a Novorossi-based engine. That engine was made by Novorossi. Uh, I would love to have that engine, uh, but still uh, something really cool here. Uh, I believe... You know, let, let me get into here and start looking at this before I guess who... I think I know who it's made by. Uh, it's certainly made by one of the Taiwanese manufacturers. Uh, but anyways, all right, so we got a little book in here. Let's take a look at this first little, uh, little sheet. So we've got an exploded view. Uh, X-Act Performance RC. Uh, I like this little... Uh, Engine history, put your brake in and your gallons on there. Maintenance, con rod replaced, bearings replaced, and other notes. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we're going to be looking at a, uh, this, this is a turbo engine, right? Turbo engine, uh, bump start, of course. Um, you know, I've never been inside one of these, so uh, I'll be interested to take a look. Uh, I just got some... Uh, instructions on the back, uh, brake in, clutch, fuel, etc., etc. Boy, that thing got beat the heck up, huh? All right. So inside the purple bubble mailer is yet another uh, bubble bubble wrap. Um, not not bubble wrap. You know what I'm saying? Bubble uh, packaging. Alrighty. Ooh, looking pretty fresh. Alrighty, that, friends, is the X Act 21 Sportive. Uh, good looking head. I like the uh I like the design on the head. Uh it is uh cheaper cast. It's not uh yeah, it's a it looks like a pretty cheap head, not a milled uh out aluminum head but a cast aluminum head but this was a budget engine right you can't uh you can't expect too too much from it all right now right, let's start tearing into this thing take this head off i assume we're gonna have two and a halfs here yes we do oh they put the head on pretty good now who thinks uh that this sleeve is gonna be uh, come right out, and who thinks that it's going to stick a bit? Um, what do I think? You know, brand, brand new. What, what, what really makes a, a sleeve stick is an engine sitting for a long, long time uh, after having been used. Uh, this engine has been sitting for a long, long time uh, brand new. So, uh, I, I, I think that the 
we're not going to have too big of a deal getting the sleeve out of here. Shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Uh, two needle carb on it. Again, a turbo plug on here. That collet looks kind of uh, odd to me. Pull this off and then I'll take a look at that. Collet almost looks like it's uh, gold plated or something. Nice and uh, really shiny collet on there. All right. Um, now, is this still spinning good? Head comes right off. No problem there. Not having any problems so far. Looks like we got a, a copper shim on there. And it looks like we got an aluminum one stuck to the engine. Uh, all right. Let me leave that down. Oh, yeah. Right on out like butter. No problem at all. Uh, let me go ahead and get that back plate off. Um, will this be interference? You know that I do not know, but uh, we all, we never take the chance. Uh, we always uh, raise the piston up uh, before we attempt to remove the back plate. Um, but I like to guess, anyways. Um, you know, I'm gonna guess that this one is not interference. Um, but like I said, I'm still gonna raise the piston up. So, piston all the way up. Take our back plate. Oh, got a nice seal on it. I like that. And it is non-interference. Look at there. Um, huh. Got a starting nub. It's kind of uh kind of like a, a track star engine where sometimes you'll have like a starting nub on the end of the crankshaft, right? But it's not a pull start engine. So you'll have a back plate that has a cutout for that nub to ride in. This is what that the deal is with that. All right. Well, that's looking like a chunky rod. There's our piston and rod. And this is coming apart nice and easy. And last thing, I'll go ahead and... Remember, I'll, I'll take the screw out a bit, and then, oh, that one kind of fell down. Take the pressure off of it. Oh, insulated. That's pretty cool. All righty. All right. That is <clears throat> the parts for the X-Act 21 Sportive engine. Um, you know, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that this engine is made. Does this have the groove? No, it doesn't have the groove, the alpha groove. Um, is it an alpha or a force? I don't think it's an SH. Um, looking very much like a track star. Uh, it's got pretty much the same back plate uh, as a track star. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So there's that. Oh, that's a, got a cool, so this is like a dark purple up top, but then got a little bit more of a lighter looking purple. There's where the two-tone is right there, inner part, outer part right there. See the ch change in shades right there? Um, that is our exact 21 Sportive head. Cool design. I like the design, uh, although it, it does look kind of cheap. And no shine cuts. Oh, come on now. Not a shine cut to be had. You can't hook us up with one shine cut. Come on now. That's never good. Uh, quick look at that carb. Uh, got a red 8mm insert. Um, two needle with an insulator. That's pretty cool. Good looking carb. Nice and smooth. 
Um, there's our back plate. Uh, looks very, um, you know what? I just realized oh, that hasn't made this video too unbearable. Sorry about that. All right. Um, non-interference. Uh, does have decent little cut up there. Very good seal. I could feel the the O-ring seal as I was pulling out. Very, very nice seal. And again, cut out for the nub at the end of the crank, which is normally for like a pull start engine. Uh, so that's the back plate. Uh, and then, you know, let's look at that piston. Uh, it looked very nice. Um, this metal got two oil grooves, no uh, bypass holes. Um, but that rod, you know, it almost, it's got like the same look as that. It's got like an oddly shiny look. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera as well, but that both of those have like an oddly shiny. They're a little bit more matte finished usually. Uh, do have a knife edge on it. Got a nice knife edge. Nice. Uh, okay, well, that's SH style. The only um, other engines that I can think of off the top of my head that have this cut out down here are SH engines. Um, really nice and chunky down at the end there. Flat top, no dome. Crank does not look very special at all. Uh, crank looks pretty plain. I uh, got a decent uh, leading edge right there. Nice sharp cut on that leading edge. That's going to cut through the air pretty good. A little bit of a ramp. Uh, it's not, it's got a nice large hole, although it's not. Uh, opened up at the end. Uh, no shark fin, no leading edge. Everything is pretty smooth though. No sharp edges. Everything's got like a nice uh, smooth to it. Kind of, I don't know, it's kind of odd looking for some reason. It's, uh, has that been ground down? Looks like the end of that has been ground down like by hand. Almost, you see the end of that nub there. It looks like it's had some grinding done on it. Uh, but that's the pretty plain crank, not drilled or filled. Um, kind of plain, but kind of decent looking crank. Uh, let's look at the crank case. Uh, they do give you a uh, gasket for your exhaust. Uh, I noticed the... Uh, Got a lot going on on this front bearing here. Not only do you have your 607 RS code, but you got CNBTZC. Lots of uh, lots of letters there. Uh, you do have an O-ring built down into the carb throat. Uh, some really nice looking cuts inside there. Really nice looking cuts inside there. Yeah, real nice. Uh, yeah, that crankcase, uh, it's looking really good. Uh, nice, smooth, sharp lines everywhere. Um, I'm liking the look at that crankcase, the look of that crankcase. Standard steel bearing in the rear. You know that, uh, that front bearing, I'm, I can read the, the inner seat, it's sealed on both sides. Uh, you can read the lettering on the inside seal if you read if you look through it there I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can read the inner seal of that front bearing uh, Our head button here is uh, kind of standard fare uh, turbo plug uh, Remember we had uh, at least two head shims That's it for that. So we got a 0.3 aluminum and a 0.2 uh, copper, so 0.5 millimeter shim stack. All right, the final countdown, we've got the sleeve. Now, you know, I wasn't expecting much out of this, uh, and I'm not seeing much. Uh, what we have here is your classic 
simple three port design, uh, which remember I said, uh, some of the fastest engines in the world have a simple three port design. Uh, so don't ever count it out. Uh, kind of, it looks like kind of a small exhaust, uh, not the biggest exhaust, it's narrower at the bottom there significantly. Um, our intake port, I'll tell you what, it looks small. It looks small to me. It's not very tall at all. Um, it's good and wide, but not crazy wide. It just looks really short. Uh, it is not a tall intake port. It looks pretty small to me. Nice cuts. I'll tell you what, uh, it's got a little ramp on it there. Um, beautiful looking cuts. Uh, I haven't, uh, this whole thing, I haven't really seen crap for imperfections. Um, seen a lot of really nice work. Again, not the fanciest stuff, um, but the work done is very nice uh, so far I've, from what I've seen. Uh, well chromed. Got plenty of chrome on it. Nice little taper at the bottom. Uh, our Schneerly ports are uh, pretty plain, but very well cut. No... Uh, no ramps on them and no fangs on them either. Uh, just got a little bit of a ramp, pretty small ramp on that boost port. Uh, but great cuts all around. Great cuts. You know, this engine, uh, I'm, I don't believe there, these are available anymore. Um, this These came out a few years back. Um, I do not believe you can buy them anymore. Maybe I, 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 I forgot to look before making this, uh, if you could buy these anywhere. Um, they were pretty cheap. That's the thing I'm looking here. I'm like, eh, it's certainly not high on features, right? Uh, but this was a pretty cheap engine, like a really cheap engine, uh, sub, I believe, uh, like a sub $100 engine, very cheap. Um, probably alpha track star now that I'm saying that um because those were really cheap as well uh so um you know yeah I, I i wouldn't mind running one of these if i could get another certainly uh being the super collector that i am uh, i wouldn't want to run this if i couldn't replace it uh, another brand new one for my collection uh, but if i can get my hands on another one of these certainly for that super cheap price uh, i'd love to run one of these and see what it can do uh, but that is the X-Act 21 Sportive Nitro Engine uh, three-port turbo bump start uh, buggy engine. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, more Nitro engines to come, more Nitro vehicles, more Nitro in general. And I'll see you all then.